day nine of our Toft Advent. Let's go rooting in drawers. Oh, there you go. So, day nine of Toft. And then day nine, excuse me, Rudolph, of um, Suzanne's. Let's do Suzanne's today for a change first. My shawl is coming on really nice. I've just finished my first colour. Obviously, I'm behind, but then what else do you expect with me? Um, but it's coming on really nice. I'll show you that in a little while. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, never had anything like that before. Hmm, very nice. And then... Oh, I like that, Suzanne. That is stunning. Oh, Suzanne does the best colourways. Fezzy Wigs Christmas Party. Oh, how nice is that? Thank you very much, Suzanne. And then it does say, this is the top, it does say on the top um, email this morning that you have to be careful when you're opening this because there's sharp objects in it. So let's see what it is. Out. Still not getting any better, am I? Right. Look it out and see what it is. Oh! So, it is needle and thread. Oh, I wonder what that thread's for. Anyway, very nice. So, needle and thread in today's. And I'll show you how far I've got while I'm here. So, last night I did the two legs, or yesterday was the two legs. This is definitely some kind of bird, chicken. It definitely is, I know it is. Because um, these have definitely got to be, it's knobbly knees, do you not think? And then here, we're splitting now, I've just read the pattern, and we there's 18 stitches on this and we're dividing them into three to make like little claws. So it's got to be a bird. But what I can't understand is it's not got any stuffing in it. Surely I should have been stuffing it along the way. But it says leave unstuffed. So there must be a reason for that. I don't know. Anyway, so this is as far as I've got. And today I'm going to do the instructions are for feet, which I'm going to sit and do this afternoon. I am just doing a little bit of housework and then I'm going to do some more sewing. Hopefully this afternoon I'll get to do some baking. But I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. So I shall catch you later. Well, while I was up here, I'd share some of my makes with you. So this is my Luna that I explained to you. This was last year's Luna. I haven't made one this year and I normally do. Anyway, this is Rudolph. Um, obviously, he's got no clothes on because um, he's a reindeer. But he has got a hat and a scarf on because it's chilly. He's got nice big antlers and a bright red nose. So that was last year's Luna that I made. And then the year before, there was this one. And she's got, this is Christmas Bedtime Luna. And she's reading her Night Before Christmas story with a, she's a very, very posh Luna, this one. She's got her Liberty Christmas pyjamas on and matching spectacles. So I made that one the year before. So this was... What are we in now? So this was 2000 and this was 2019. You've already met Santa, my tough Santa. I made him this year in between the year. I think it was June and July I made him. These Christmas lights I made last year, 2020. And then up here, I have the drummer boy, which I do not remember when I made him. I definitely made this Christmas decoration last year as I did Percy, my Christmas pudding. Then I made, let me just move this out of the way. Then I made these three Christmas elves. I made these two in 2018 and I made this one in 2019. I also made Rudolph, my other crocheted Rudolph in 2019 my christmas tree i made hmm not 100 sure but i think it must have been 17 2017 
and then the snowman I made him last year, 2020. I usually have them all downstairs, but we have got so much going on downstairs at the moment that I've decided to leave them all up here. And to be fair, I am spending a lot more time up here. Up here, I have my gnome, which I am doing another one at the moment, but again, I am behind. And then this is my little shelf with my mice on. You've seen my little teddy bear. Let me show you what we've got over here. Over here are all my other lunas. So this is the lamb. This was my, find out the way, Zach. That was my Halloween luna. And then that one right at the back was my first, very first luna. And her feet are that bad. I've put socks on her. I'm not even going to attempt to show you her feet. This was just a felt teddy bear that I made oh, a couple of years ago. Then we down, well, Tim downsized the pattern for me and I made a miniature Luna, half size. And then these are just some of the other things that I made. That's marmalade. And then up here is just an array. My crafting granny. I love the crafting granny. Sorry, Zach. Then there's the queen. And then some of my, um, oh, what they called, Pika Pow. That's my toft dog. This is my birds. And that's it. I just thought I'd show you them while I was up. I'm sure most of you have seen them already, but I have had some new subscribers, so I thought you might lead, not, like to see some of the things that I've made. Okay, I will catch you later. So I'm in my craft room, crafting away this afternoon, actually working, um, and I've just had a delivery. Look at these fabrics. Oh, they're so, oh, they're just beautiful, aren't they? Um, they are uh, Lewis and Irene, and then there's this one, and they've got, I think that's a bear, yeah? A bear, and a mouse, and hedgehog, and fox. Oh, it's beautiful, stunning fabric. And then this is the accent. And then this is exactly the same, but just in a cream with an orange accent. Isn't that stunning? These obviously are going to be turned into beautiful bags. And then I've had a delivery from Wool Warehouse. Now, I couldn't open it on camera because this is just part of it. The other part of it is for a present. And I'm not sure if the person who it's for would see it. So I didn't want to show you. But I just wanted to show you. I've ordered um, a Rowan kid classic i think it's a made with lamb's wool and kid moa is i think it's a double knit anyway i've ordered oh does it tell you that don't know i think it is so i've ordered 50 grams of that and 50 grams of the rowing kid silk case um this is 70 percent moa and 30 percent silk oh isn't that stunning look at the color of that it's a really really soft actually quite a good color that um it's the true color and so is that one to be fair um and i bought it because last month i purchased off my friend um elise from Le petite saint crochet the pig she um brought out a new pattern, a new amigurumi pattern last month, the piggy, the three little pigs, and I purchased the pattern from her and I wanted to make it over Christmas. How adorable is that? I'd really quite like to make three. Um, I'll see how many I get out of this yarn and then obviously I need some other yarns for the clothes, but I'll worry about that when the actual pig's been made. And as you can see, my lovely friend up here, Dawn's Days, she was a tester for Elise. Um, so yeah, I want to make that and I'm, I, I, those of you that know me know that I'm a glutton for wanting to do it in the right yarns or the, the same yarns as it's been made in. So yeah, that's just arrived. Oh, of course now I'm itching to get that started but I mustn't because I've got so many other things that I need to do, especially one being a present. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, yeah, I don't know when that's going to get done but hopefully quite soon up here i will also show you what i have got in my other advents today so this star fabric is from the lovely Lindsay of stitch create love and then i have got my fabric swap with rachel and isn't that a lovely fabric i've never seen anything like that before there's lots of bits out of that that i could choose to put hexagons in isn't there and she's bought me a beautiful wreath 
for my doll's house, which I will put inside as I have got one on the outside already. Then I got this mini ball of Shapies River Washed by, um, not by, from um, Susan. And then I look at this adorable. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to, I've watched one of Dawn's um, vlogmases. I can't remember which episode it is. I'm behind, I'm behind with quite a few vlogmases at the moment. Um, but I watched her do some decorations with one of these. So I'm going to copy her basically. So I'm going to go, Tim's going to drive me down to Hobbycraft tomorrow and get a few supplies and I'm going to make a little scene. And then she bought me these lovely bronze antique stitch markers. Thanks Dawn, with Sweeties. Oh, and this had Sweeties. And yeah, no, yeah, they've all had Sweeties really, but they're, they're downstairs. And then the next one, this is from my friend Fiona. And it's a cross stitch. Now, not really done many cross stitches. I've had one off Denise as well. But I am going to give it a go. And I just think it's the right size to do it. So I'm going to give that a go. So that's off Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. And then finally, look at this fabulous bag. This is from Denise. Thank you very much, Denise. I love it. Get them sheep on there. It's actually a lunch bag. But I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it as a project bag. And as you can see... My stock's still here. I've not even put it in the shop. I am going to make the effort and have a bit of a shop update, I think, tomorrow. Anyway, those are today's treats. Good evening, everybody. And I don't know if I've even welcomed you to day nine of Vlogmas. Um, I've had a really busy day today. I've been here, there and everywhere, sewing, cleaning. I've done some ironing. Um... Yeah, I just seem to have been really busy and it's been such a boring day for you all, so I do apologise. It's been ma mainly Advents today and showing you me toft. And this evening, I got that wrapped up in doing my next part of my toft that I completely forgot I hadn't finished my podcast and uploaded it. Well, not my podcast, my vlogmas and uploaded it. Um, I have managed to finish the legs of my bird. It's definitely a bird. Um, but I will explain more in detail tomorrow how I know it's a bird, what I found to help me on the website of Toft. I didn't know anything about this, um, but I will explain to you more in detail tomorrow. I am about to undo my number nine from my house. But before I go, I just wanted to say a very special hello to a little boy I know. He is called Sebe. Hi, Sebe. I've been told, a little bird has told me, that Sebe loves my channel and is an avid watcher of my YouTube channel. He lives with his mummy and his auntie Hannah. Anna is of Hannah's Happy Place. She also has a podcast and she's almost also doing Vlogmas. So if you head on over to Anna's Happy Space, um on YouTube, you'll find Hannah there. And Sebe has made a couple of appearances in her videos. So I just wanted to say a big hello. Hi, Sebe. Again, to Sebe and say, thank you very much, Sebe, for watching my podcast. You are always very welcome here. And hopefully, fingers crossed, one day, you never know, we might even get to meet. So I am going to swing you around and open my number nine and see where it goes. Right, here we go. Sorry it's a bit dark. It is extremely late here. I won't tell you what time it is, but it's late. It is. I think it's half past ten. Right, are we ready? What's this? Oh, let me lift it up. You can't see, can you? Oh, it's a kettle. And I have a feeling this must go on the table. So I'll get the table out. See if we can find... Oh, yes, it does. Where are we? There it goes. In there. Oops. Let me put you down and I'll put it in. There it is. All nestled nicely on the table. So I'll put that back in there. There we go. All done. And yes, I've had a few comments and people think this is a ball. And I actually think that they're right, it is a ball. Anyway, with that said, 
I am going to bid you all a good night and I shall see you again tomorrow. Take care.